the loop, speaking the truth of the word and reaching the youth, saving souls of the old, doing God's work with more to do. And he turning up every week and get lit, and then making the church on Sunday, you can tune in and get your fix. Turn up, turn up, turn up. He's not done with you yet. I know that there are people under the sound of my voice right now. You've been waiting on a move of God since January. But I've come to tell you, keep waiting. Don't give up. Because he is not done with you yet. Some of you have even lost faith and trust in your own self. Because you've broken promises that you've made to your own self. But I've come this morning as a reminder to you to let you know he's not done with you yet. It's when you're made up in your mind, I need you now, Lord. I need you right now, not tomorrow, not next week, but I need you now. And God has you to wait. The enemy can sometimes get into your mind, interrupt your thought life and make you feel as if the reason that you are waiting is because God is punishing you. But the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter six, verse 12, it warns us not to become sluggish because, watch the text, it says, through faith and patience, we inherit the promise. That's when the enemy comes into your mind. That's when the enemy begins to ask you questions. Where is your God now? When you're waiting. When, when, when it is that you are in need and you're waiting. When it is that you're in pain and you're waiting. And, and I don't know why it is that, that, that God uh, has us to wait. I, I, I don't know. There, there's a multiplicity of different reasons why God has us to wait. Sometimes God will make you wait because you may not have the capacity for what you prayed for. You may not have the capacity to handle what you prayed for. Sometimes God may have us wait because you may not have the bandwidth to manage what it is you asked for. There may be some scars that you need to address. Family, a clear vision, hear me this morning, will only be seen through the lenses of a healed scar. See, when you're hurting and waiting, your perspective is thrown off. When your scar is not healed, your perspective is thrown off. And you got to be very careful when you're in that space because you'll make decisions that are not the right decisions because you're making those decisions not because you heard from God, but because you're hurting. That's, that, that, that's where we have a problem, right there, because God will show you. He will show you where you are. He will show you where he wants you to be, but he does not show you the plan. And the hope, well, preacher, why doesn't he show us the plan? Because God in his infinite wisdom knows that if he shows you the plan and the scars that are going to come with it, many of you would forfeit your vision. And I've come to tell you that you have to get to the point that you just trust God. Because he will show you A and he'll show you Z. But he will not show you L-M-N-O-P. It will be followed by, there, 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 there is a season of nothingness followed by a moment of suddenly. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I'm, I'm going I'm to shout by myself. That, there, is a, there is a season of nothingness. Nothing is working right. Nothing is happening on time. Nobody is calling you about the position. No healing is coming forth in your life. There is a season of nothingness, but you can't give up because there will be a moment of suddenness.